did you stop recording? I don't know, don't tell me I didn't get any of that. Oh my god. So we're in a band now. Cine my nobles. There's four of us, and we all make sounds together, and that's one more than three. That's where we are now. <laughs> I started talking to you guys, what, like right after surrogates had to dissolve. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's kind of like the whole beginning of all of this. It's not like it's not ignore the fact that Michael had mentioned that I should sing with your band and jam with Cinema Novo. We had already had this really cool plan to just kind of like jam together, and then like I called you, and you're like, "Yeah, I was wondering yeah. if you were gonna call." <laughs> One of the last things that had been mentioned. It was know? like the last conversation I had with him. Yeah, it was one of the last ones I had, and, and you know. I took these fables that you were focused on and that you had like designed your music around or maybe it was the other way around. Yeah, it's, well it's hard when you're an instrumental band because you want to write a song and it's got to, you want it to be about something even though there's no, there's no lyrics. So you have to find other ways to make an instrumental song about something. So we had these seven song ideas based on all these different monsters and creatures, like actual folklore and then you, you like kind of brought it to life. You had just sent me like a really rough, just like practice recording and you're like, here's this song called Horse Eater. Some phone recording of a practice or something. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> Attached to like the Wikipedia, like, you're like, and this is what it's about. <laughs> like cultural history yeah. from like Brazil and, <laughs> and shit. like pictures. And I sent you back like a garage band, like. You and I were like bouncing these like super specific ideas and it's like, oh, but how do you write a song about that? Yeah. The actual horse eater creature is this sort of giant. This guy that get that turns into this monster and gets chained up and then like. On the top of a mountain, kind of put out of sight, sort of giant ogre-ish thing. Doesn't die. <laughs> and he like mm -hmm. just comes back just like raging and worse. Misunderstood amongst the like town's population. Just fucking eats the whole entire village's horses and yeah. just pillages and ruins everything worse than when he was there in the first place. This was like the first song you started writing with us and this was only like a couple months after Michael died. Like I felt this pressure when Michael had died that I didn't really know what to do, you know, because there was just, he wrote everything and it wouldn't be the same. I didn't feel like singing, you know, there was, there was not much I wanted to say. What what was what happened really? What what happened? I think it's because we weren't really allowed to talk about how he died, and like the secrecy that was surrounding his death. Or it should be okay to openly talk about you having a problem. It should be okay. Anybody who you do music with, there's something that you share with them. You can't you can't describe. When I heard that instrumental, I hadn't said a single thing about him until I turned on my USB microphone <laughs> to write to that song and I didn't even need to write it down. I just poured everything that I was thinking about Michael. Just poured it. And it just kept going. There's always what you wish you could have said. And there's always what you wish you could have done a little bit differently like when someone talks to you. Have you ever had that where someone like talks down to you and you're kind of like and you walk away and you're like I should have said, like, said, said this and I should have said this and I should have said this. This whole entire album has done that for me. How's the lighting? How's my face? It's actually pretty good. Right after Michael died, just not knowing whether I should continue music, and I was having such trouble talking about Michael's death because some people were supposed to know how it happened and some people weren't, and you can't sugarcoat things your whole fucking life. Well, just not it, like acknowledge it. Yeah, you and that's can't. What the, like that's the monster in the song. It's just like isolate this thing and pretend it doesn't exist. Like ignore it. If you don't acknowledge then, it, then like it won't affect us. It's fine. It's yeah. Seven inner. It's seven monsters and myths, but it's also seven. I, I want to say monsters of men, which is a band. <laughs> it's seven, it's, it's monsters in myths, but it's also monsters for people. <laughs> this whole album, you, like, it just kept pouring. It was everything that I felt like people were not saying. Nobody wants to mention what everybody's thinking. And I'm going to. I think, I think we are going to. I think we're going to talk about it. <laughs> you happy with the video? I love the video. <laughs> and we're gonna do it. We helped direct the video. And then, you know, I'm doing the art. 
and well, I'm doing the art and you're doing the art yeah. for all of the singles. So we're making the music, we're making the art, and <laughs> we're, making, <laughs> we're doing videos. There really is no turning back. There really isn't. Part one of seven. We're really stupid. Look at all this art we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do so many arts. God. Ba -da 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 -da. Remember that? What happened to the Yahoo guy? You think he still gets paid? What are you talking about, Yahoo? Yahoo!